Hey, we would like to invite you all on March 6th to join us virtually for our conference coming up called Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease and Build a Powerful Immune System for Women. Anyone can join us, but we would love to have you sign up for our virtual event featuring Dr. Robin Shutkin. She's amazing. What she knows about the microbiome, which she knows you know is our the biome within us, our, our gut, and how that is tied into our immune system. There's nothing more important right now than having healthy immune systems. It is the end of 2020. This event is on March 6th of 2021. Also we'll be featuring my father to prevent and reverse heart disease, his research with women. And I'll be cooking with Anne and our and Ann, Dr. Ann Bingham will Dr. be there. OBGYN, the power of plants with women cannot be understated, overstated, needs to be stated. And we'll do some interactive things with uh, Brian Hart as well. You can find a link to the event in the description below here on YouTube or on Instagram in my bio or on my website, danielsilston.com. Hope S to see you there. It'll be great. It'll be such fun. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>
So do you put the lemon in now or do you put it when no, it's done? No, I'm, I'm going to put the lemon in after this is cooked 25 minutes. Okay, well, since we're cooking 25 minutes, I'm going to sort of save this butane stove or whatever stove it is and I'm going to cook it on the other side. Actually, Jane, maybe I'm going to put it in my casserole dish and put it on the on the stove. Well, How's that? And we'll be we right back. It. We're going to do some transfer and for this cooking down for 25 minutes. All right, be right back. So, we put the the stuff into ah, into this red pot because we wanted to have a nice lid and something nice to serve it in and it's been cooking for 25 minutes but unfortunately I forgot to add the cayenne so I put it in while it was cooking one fourth teaspoon of cayenne which Mid really flight. helps we do that which a lot of really that. helps and uh, if you're trying to follow along with the recipe for real even though she's trying to defy that rule it's on page 237 um, so here is this all nicely cooked. One of the things to do now is to try and mash some of this with a spoon, oh. with a masher, just so that it makes the sauce a little thicker. You don't want to mash it all. You don't need to put any kind of any kind of anything in here to do it with a blender, but just to mash some against the sides. I'll mash it a little bit. Do you want to talk about the broth that you And now um, I am going to put in spinach and cayenne, I mean, and uh, cilantro. And that looks nice. And I think at this point, if you think you'd like to, if it's looking Here, too thick, you could add some um, vegetable broth. I have a half a cup on the recipe. This is satisfying. Can I do a little more? It was, it, I, it was yeah. like, I, was, I felt myself fracturing yeah. the so some of the beans. Now it should go in about two cups, but I like to put in just as, as much as I can because spinach totally vanishes. And then some lemon juice and about four tablespoons, four or five. I found five is a lot. And I like a lot of, vin of lemon, but the only interesting thing is if this waits overnight, the lemon kind of vanishes a bit. So it's not too much. Along with the vanishing spinach. The spinach See, is actually spinach, gone. The spinach, is, it goes. In fact, you know what? That spinach has vanished so fast. I'm putting more in, and then I'm going to put in a lot of cilantro. If you don't like and cilantro, can you just add parsley? Parsley or forget it. Just add more spinach. It vanishes. And I have a little wild rice <coughs> here, and I would just like to take some of this. Don't mind your way here. And that was put fun. a little on here. And um, you've got a lovely dinner. And you could have it. Wow. Yeah. Can we taste it? Yeah. All right. Here. Look at that. Look at that. I want to get to a little wee garnish of fresh cilantro for you, the cilantro lover. Actually, in honor of you, we should put a lemon on top. Ha ha. All right, <clears throat> gonna give it a go. So this is, again, the mellow ginger sauce over chickpeas. No, over chickpeas, chickpeas and greens. But chickpeas are in the sauce. Mm. The chili peas are in the sauce. <laughs> mm. uh, it's lovely. And it's a mellow, gingery flavor. It's a good flavor. It's a great flavor. I, lo I love ginger and chickpeas. I like mm. simple things. This is simple. Except the only hard part of it was cutting that huge onion. But that was kind of fun, too. Mm. So. Onward with good food. Chickpeas. Mellow, mellow chickpeas. <laughs> well, what is it? <laughs> mellow ginger, ginger sauce, sauce over, over chickpeas, chickpeas and, and spinach. Greens. And gr <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>